For Nick Arena, fish farming was never in his blood. The kitchen and bathroom renovator from Sydney's eastern suburbs was happily building a life for himself and his family when he got chatting to some marine biologists about how wild sea stocks were in decline and if we wanted fish for the future, we'd have to grow them. Me being a, a practical sort of builder, to me, you know, one and one equal two. We farm our sheep, we farm our cattle, we farm our veggies, why not our fish? You know, we've always just taken the oceans for granted. And the rest, as they say, is history. Nick and his family packed up their life and left their family and friends in Sydney in 1997 and moved to Bob's Farm in Port Stephens. And tailor-made fish farms was born, specialising in farm-grown barramundi. We basically thought that, yep, yeah, look, you set up your tanks, you chuck your fish in, um, count the money at the end of the day was, I suppose, really what we viewed or, or for, saw the, the business as. But you realise it's, it's just not, nothing's that easy. It was hard work. The fish are imported from South Australia or Queensland and grown in bore water sourced from the property. It's then an intensive labour effort over the next few months until the fish are ready to sell to market. The first three years it was seven days a week, um, uh, 12 hour days probably. It wasn't easy. Uh, I think the whole um, you know, 12 years has been rather difficult, but learning, learning the do's and don'ts is, is very, has been important. But I think I also see the future as, as a lot brighter than, than what the past has been. With Australia's population growing and increasing good news about the benefits of omega-3 in our diets, tailor-made fish farms is booming. Many believe aquaculture is the key to a sustainable supply of fish into the future. Nick and his team produce 1,200 kilos of barramundi a week for the Sydney market. A lot of effort and resources, including water, goes into farming the fish. But at Taylor Made, the waste doesn't go down the drain. Instead, the wastewater, including all the nutrients from the fish growing process, are piped outside and into TaylorMade's hydroponic vegetable patch, so the same water is being used twice to grow food. These vegetables, including lettuce, Asian greens and herbs, are then transported to stores around the Hunter region. This environmentally friendly aquaculture farming technique means Nick Arena is getting bang for his bucks. The biofiltration within our fish production system actually converts ammonia to nitrite and then nitrite to nitrate. So the nitrates actually end up as a food, food source for plants. So you've got the water and by value adding that water with some nitrates, you've actually got uh, some value added water that's of use. And we've been through a major drought, so you know farming is still, uh, has to happen for us to have food and crops um, and it's always going to use water. It just, to me, it makes good sense to link the two together. All of the equipment used on site has been tailor-made, purpose-built for this operation. All of our equipment is different to what's, I suppose, available in the marketplace. We've designed a lot of that equipment ourselves, but it's all based on the same um, basics um, and fundamentals. And it's been so successful, Nick has travelled the world selling and sharing his knowledge of the fish farming business and his trade secrets. Now, we've actually built one of these farms over in Poland, which now is a cold climate and barramundi are a tropical fish so I think if we can grow fish in uh, Poland we can pretty well grow them anywhere. But Nick refuses to rest on his laurels. He's got bigger fish to fry. He's looking to the future and planning an expansion of this success story into a local tourist attraction. A cooperative processing facility is currently being built on site and an education and function centre and restaurant is also underway which will provide visitors with the chance to eventually fish for their own dinner in these purpose-built moats. Australia's aquaculture industry is worth around a billion dollars a year but worldwide it's even bigger. It's been the fastest growing primary industry or meat production sector in the world for almost 20 years. It's had some bad, bad runs and some, some bad stories and that generally equates to, you know, I think uh, either lack of funding at start-up or bad advice at start-up or, or just, you know, lack of support from banks and things to uh, continue on with the business. Um, and we've certainly been through some of those hard times and we're, I suppose, lucky to have come out the other side. But to survive in this industry 12 years, you do build a great knowledge base on, on the do's and don'ts. All of this is possible, Nick says, thanks to Australia's clean, green image. This country's commitment to the environmentally friendly production and sustainable farming of the nation's food sources means we're in good stead for the future.
And there's probably been a lot of issues relating to environmentally friendly production and people's perception of, of fish production. I, I think what we're doing here with the fish and the vegetable and the utilising water and it all enclosed is, is a really good model. And, you know, Australia is getting a good name around the world for environmentally friendly and, and clean uh, production.